Okay, hey class, uh, this is part D of FRQ1 from Unit 1. And these three pictures right here uh, show us what's happening in part D. We have a ball that's rolling in at some speed that's about this amount, right? It bounces off the wall and it achieves the same speed, and that's key right there. So there's no loss of kinetic energy. Don't worry, we don't have to talk about kinetic energy here. I'm just reminding you that's, that's what's going on. So it has the same speed V here as it does here. And part D says, well, D1, that is, says, hey, on the dot below, which represents the object, during the time it is in contact with the wall, draw an arrow showing the direction of the object's acceleration during that bounce. So let's look at the paper down here. Let's say, hey, this is D1. Let's draw the ball. While it's making the bounce, which direction is the acceleration? Well, we know that the speed or the velocity was this amount, and then it started to reduce almost instantaneously, right? This ball hits the wall, and almost instantaneously, it begins to, like, compress against the wall, right? And so it goes from this speed V to a smaller and smaller speed, eventually to what? Zero meters per second, right? And then almost instantaneously, again, it begins to speed up the other direction from a very small V to a very sizable V, right? The same V it had right here. So which direction is the acceleration? Well, if you're going to slow down a rightward velocity and then make that object speed up to the left, doesn't that prove there is a leftward acceleration the entire time? A leftward acceleration would slow down a rightward velocity and it would then speed up the object to the left. So there's your answer right there. And that's the justification. They're not asking for justification, but that's the justification. All right, D2. D2 is a justification, a verbal one, though we can always use math reasoning, and I always encourage you to do so. All right, let's look at what this thing says, D2. There we go. During the time the object is in contact with the wall, is the magnitude of the acceleration greater than, less than, or the same as it was while it was rolling down the ramp? Briefly explain the reasoning. I'm going to give you the answer right now. It's greater when it bounces versus when it rolls down the ramp. Okay, and here's my reasoning for that. We went from zero meters per second here on the bounce to this speed V. And wouldn't you agree this is a very, very short amount of time, right? Think about instead the ball rolling down the ramp. like this. It goes from zero meters per second to some speed V. And by the way, this speed V right here is the same as this speed V right here, right? But in the case of it rolling down the ramp, it goes from zero to some speed V in a time that is quite a bit bigger than this very quick time right here, right? So having set that up with you, now we can easily argue this. So I would say in the case of the bounce, the acceleration is greater. Make your claim right away. Make your claim right away. And then you want to go about justifying that claim, right? So I'm going to justify that claim right now. I'm going to say in both cases, The ball was at rest and accelerated to a velocity v, right? In the bounce, or during the bounce, you don't have to say in the bounce, but I already wrote it. In the bounce, this time... to achieve velocity v is much smaller is much smaller than the time 
associated with rolling down the hill. Okay, and that's pretty good right there, but we want to finish it off with a, a nice little equation flourish, right? So we're going to say here, since A equals delta V over T, and delta V is constant for both, right? They both achieve the same velocity from rest. A smaller t and I put here in the case of the bounce just to case of the bounce would produce a greater acceleration Right. So, you know, that that's how my mind works. That's how I thought to, to argue it. OK, when you see the AP solution, I'm trying to find a way to get you guys those solutions. And that will be coming up soon, too. Um, I'm looking into some different things. Once you see their explanation, it's probably going to be a little quicker and to the point than what I'm writing here. But I'm taking you through my thought process and how I uh, how I approach these things. So I hope that helps. And if you have any questions, please message me, let me know. And there's many more of these to come. Thank you very much.